What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Terrence Crawford and Javante Tank Davis. These guys have been beefing since the win of Javante Tank Davis over uh, Yoriokis Gamboa. And the beef has been back and forth over the performance of Javante Tank Davis. And Terrence Crawford had this to say. He said, Tank Davis fought a 38 out of prime fighter with a torn Achilles and barely KO'd him. Laughing emojis. Gamboa hasn't fought in a meaningful fight since me in 2014. And after that, he got stopped by a guy with 12 losses and y'all making it seem like he did something spectacular. Wow. Now, of course, the counterpunch from um, Javante Tank Davis, you know, he's pound for pound the number one best fighter on Twitter. He says the same guy, Gamboa, touched you up for the first four or five rounds and you was the bigger guy and he hurt you. I never lost not one round. He barely touched me and I moved up in weight to do it. Okay. Now, that's Javante Tank's, Tank Davis's um, counterpunch. Now, Javante wasn't done because that's what makes him best pound for pound on Twitter. He says that you fought a guy that was shot eight times, which was Jose Benavidez. Okay, this is the most current. And it took you 12 rounds to knock him out. Okay, and he had he, he, was, shot he was shot eight times and had a, a bad leg right or one leg and it took you 12 rounds to knock him out like you did now you know first of all let's let's back up here's the problem with this with, with the with this argument okay Javante Tank Davis he's arguing with the with uh Terrence Crawford because Terrence Crawford is just telling him that you didn't struggle, but you struggled to beat this guy. And a lot of the struggles was for on his own. It wasn't Yoriokis Gamboa. Okay, the struggles, he lost weight. He lost his belt on, on because of weight on the scales. He got he started to get tired around seven, eight. You know, he started to lose in, um, uh, endurance. He was taking breaks and rounds off because he couldn't get Gamboa out of there because Gamboa was experienced to hold like he was doing. <clears throat> and because he never went that distance. And this guy was 38 years old. This guy was completely out of his prime. And, you know, Terrence Crawford was right. He hasn't fought anyone since then worth anything with a name whatsoever. Okay. Now we can look this up if you don't believe me. Okay, so let's look up Yodiokis Gamboa's record. <clears throat> now, now all we have to do go to his boxing boxing record. Okay, he. Since he lost, well, since he lost to Terrence Crawford, right? He's had several fights. Joel Montes de Oca, never heard of him. Highland Williams Jr., never heard of him. Rene Avarado, I never heard of him either. But he's he's he he beat all these guys, right? Robinson um, um, Castellanos, Castellanos, right? Uh, he lost to him. Um, majority decision from Alexis Reyes, Jason Sosa, which a lot of people thought he lost. I thought he lost that fight. And that's when I knew for a fact he was going downhill. And Jason Sosa is a pretty credible name. But the way he was fighting in that fight, I was thinking to myself, you know what? He's done. You know, Miguel Beltran, you know, he won. You know, but I mean, who who is that? <laughs> um 
Ramon Martinez. All right. And he, he won. He won from a KO on that. But who was Ramon Martinez? Uh, and then Javante Tank Davis. And then that's the 12th round. So you're looking at this guy. He hasn't really been, he really hasn't stepped up since. So since Terrence Crawford, he had a tough fight with Jason Sosa, which a lot of people thought, and I, I know I thought that he lost against Jason Sosa. Okay. Jason Sosa, you know, he had a weird kind of, you know, fight. That could have actually been a draw. I'd have been happier with that. But this guy was ready to be beat. Okay. He was ready to be beat. He was ready to be taken out by a younger, stronger guy, a guy that had problems making weight at 130 on top of 135. The powerful guy coming up at 130 that's accustomed to fighting featherweights. Okay. That's what Tank Davis is accustomed to. Now he was moving up. Okay. He was moving up in weight to take this guy on, you know. But like I said, a lot of Javante Tank Davis's problems weren't. Yuriokis Gamboa, it was himself. He couldn't even make weight for the thing. So his endurance, his his conditioning, um, that all played a factor in this fight. Now, if Javon, if uh Yuriokis Gamboa was at himself on top of being a hurt fighter on top of that, come on, man. You know, he would have done a lot better. Now, if we're looking at Crawford cross-analyzing Crawford's fight with Jose Benavidez and Javante Tank Davis's fight with Gamboa, we will have this. The only similarities that we have would be um, Benavidez was involved in a um, altercation, right? He was shot, but we knew that coming in. It wasn't something that happened uh, with Gamboa that it happened before it started and he was hiding it and stuff like that. No, this was already known. Jose Benavidez was a guy that was another Paul Spatafora. He had a bad leg because of some kind of criminal act. These guys, you know, the gym is their savior, but, it, you know, it don't always save them if they stay out of that gym, if they still indulge in themselves in, the, in that past lifestyle. OK. So Jose Benavidez he was a tough opponent. He was an undefeated guy. Gamboa was not undefeated. Okay. Then this guy, yes, his leg was it was bothering him. You know, I can appreciate the analogy, the 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 counter punching spirit, because you know, it's like, well, hey, you you fought a one legged guy with Jose Benavidez, but Benavidez knew what he was up against. Okay. Now if his leg started giving him problems, it was because he was fighting a guy that um made him move, you know. So what is what is Terrence Crawford going to do? Not fight him? <clears throat> the guy was uh, was calling him out. The guy was testing him. The guy was blasting him for not fighting him. So, yeah, he fought him. So there was a lot of reasons to fight Jose. OK, and Javante Tank Davis, Gamboa never called you out. Gamboa didn't know where you was coming from. You didn't know where you was coming from. Somebody told you you going to one thirty five. You know, so Gamboa was that guy that was picked. He was a target because of where he was in his career. OK, so Javante Tank Davis, my suggestion to that man, if he doesn't want to get criticized, he needs to, first of all, step up in competition, be ready to make weight to uh, defend his fucking belts. OK, and then you won't get this type of ridicule. And I know the overall plan with Gamboa. Gamboa is the only guy that kind of put uh, Terrence Crawford on Queer Street. Okay. He was one of those guys that did make Terrence Crawford do the stanky leg a little bit, right? He did the stanky leg. Okay. So Javante Tank Davis, oh, let's bring him in here like five fucking years later and knock him out to make it look like, oh, look how easy I did that over Terrence Crawford. He had Terrence Crawford hurt, and Terrence Crawford is the number one pound for pound. That's a tactic to make Javante Tank Davis look like he's something that he's really not, you know? See, the irony of it all is it took this guy 12 fucking rounds to do something he should have done in three, where the guy hurt himself in the second round and he went 10 more rounds. So how do you not beat a fucking guy that has a, a, a busted a Kaylee's tendon? Jeez.
You couldn't beat that guy, and he then he said, "Well, I didn't even know. I didn't know it would happen to him. You couldn't see the way that dude looked, the way his leg was wobbling all over the place. You didn't see that. And if he didn't see that, I don't know what the hell he was looking at. You know, <laughs> he needs to pay more attention to his surroundings or whatnot. But, but of course." Tank Davis is a young guy, you know, he hides behind Twitter and stuff like that. If you notice, he hasn't called out anyone. He says, every one of them, line them up. No, you specifically call a guy out, make that fucking fight happen with your manager and, and, and grab some balls and, 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 and fight. That's how you do it. If you're not a part of this PBC clique or you, if you want to break the trend of being a prisoner of the PBC, that's exactly what you should do. But Terrence Crawford is just speaking his mind like he always is because he's been in there with a better Gamboa, a more in, uh, in prime Gamboa, undefeated Gamboa. So there's no reason to ridicule that man's opinion. But that's my counterpunching opinion about it. You guys tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunching. Peace.